Good evening, everyone. Another day God has given us to hear from His Word. I just want to bring to you thoughts on the Bible. Psalm 91 is a scripture that God gave me in December. Uh, we did not know what will happen on this pandemic, whether this pandemic will come. But it's a, uh, it's a great psalm that gives us promises of God that is good for this time of the corona pandemic. And I want to look at uh, dwelling in his presence and the benefits of dwelling in his presence. Psalm 91 verse 1 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you shall seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and bulwark. You will not be afraid of the terror by night, or of the arrow that flies by day, or of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not approach you. You will only look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. And it goes on and on and on. But I want us to look at uh, dwelling in his presence and the benefits of dwelling in the presence of God. Uh, the scholars in, uh, in agreement on the occasion of this hour. And it is probably a time that Moses was writing about the plague that was going through Israel. It is nevertheless a crucial psalm and a psalm of, uh, of the sons of the children of Israel. And it is important for us to understand that uh, God speaks to his people in a time, at a time that uh, we need to speak. In the time of calamities, in the time of need, God speaks. So, what is the secret place? That is one question that we are asking ourselves. What is the secret place? The secret place of the Most High is the place of faith or a place of trust. Trusting in the Lord ushers us into the secret place or takes us to the place of faith. When we trust in Him, we are in the secret place and we are in the place of faith. We are in the place where we are going to get benefits of staying near the Almighty. Faith connects us with the throne of God. In Genesis 15, 6, Then he believed in the Lord, and it was reckoned to him for righteousness. It, is, was, it was the faith of Abraham that connected him to, to God. So it's important that we understand that the place of faith, or the, the place of faith is a secret place. A secret place is a place of faith. And going to the benefits of uh, the secret place, of dwelling in his presence, one of the benefits is refuge and fortress. When we dwell with him, he gives us, he becomes our refuge, he becomes our fortress. The psalmist comfortably personalized the protection of the Lord in verse 2. And he says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my, and my fortress, my God in whom in whom I trust. And uh, so it is important for us to understand that he who confides in the Lord will have a fortress and will have a refuge in the Lord. And he says that is my fortress, is my stronghold. It is a place where I retreat, is my source of my, my strength, is a secure height that I hide into. And that gives me protection. So looking at that refuge and fortress, it gives us a protection that we are securely under a height that protects us. Number two benefit that is important to, to hear is deliverance. In verse three, uh, he says that he will keep us from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. Believers shall be kept from those mischief which, they are, which are imminently uh, dangerous against them. So it is important for us to believe in the Lord 
because it's the place the place of faith is the place of the place of deliverance it is a secret place when you're in the secret place you have deliverance so deliverance is number is number two benefit that you get from uh, believing or staying in the secret place of the Lord. Number four, number three, that is, number three is cover and protection. In verse four, when we believe in the Lord, when we stay in the secret place, we have confidence and we have courage. There is no fear of the arrow and there is no fear of pestilence and there is no fear of destruction. Those who dwell in the secret place will not only be kept from evil, but from the fear of evil. In verse 5 and 6, it helps us to understand that we are going to be kept from fear, the fear of evil and the fear itself and the evil itself. So God gives us protection or God gives us a covering. We need to believe in him and have a covering for our souls and for our, for our bodies. If we are going to believe in the law, if we believe the law, if we make him our refuge, if we make him our fortress, if we stay in the place of faith, that is trusting in him, then we will have protection. We're going to have uh, deliverance. He is going to be our, our refuge and fortress. I believe that that message has encouraged you. We are going to continue with the other verses as we move on, as we move on. Thank you.